Congratulations on your purchase of the new adjustable push-pull instrument by BuyerClear. Let me explain how the instrument works. I'm going to set the slider button back to the smallest position at 4.5. This would be appropriate for the premolar or black evolved matrix. For most molars, using the blue evolved matrix, use the setting at 5 to 6. For wide molars, using the orange evolved matrix, use the setting at 7 to 8. For smaller cavity preparations, we will need to use the non-adjustable small end of the push-pull instrument. Then, for extremely small cavity preparations, we'll use the convex end of the BioClear paddle instrument. I will show you several clinical indications on when to use these instruments. Let's start with a premolar. For premolars, we are going to be around the 4.5 number here. This corresponds roughly to the outside dimension between the outside of these two little hands. So when we're doing the spot weld push pull technique, which you can see in a separate video, we put two little dots of cold flowable composite here and here. And then before we light cure the adhesive, we're going to go in, put in the push pull instrument parallel to the neighboring tooth. So let's take a lateral view of this. The hands of the push-pull instrument should be parallel to the contact area of the neighboring tooth. To accomplish this, we don't want the handle to be too low or too high. It's a good idea to practice before you begin to do the restoration. Let's zoom in and watch how beautifully that we're able to adapt and approximate the matrix with the new adjustable push-pull instrument by BioClear. Let's go ahead and take a look at another case. Here we have the blue evolved matrix on a molar. For the blue evolved matrix, I'll be between 5 and 6, depending on what the neighboring tooth looks like. If it's a premolar next door, you don't want to expand the contact too much. So in this case, I'll be at about 5.5, which is appropriate for this case next to a premolar. So I'm dropping the instrument in and pulling the matrix over. So that's using the pulling motion to approximate the matrix on the mesial. Now let's go ahead and look at a small cavity preparation. So even though I would have the setting at about 4.5, it's barely fitting into the small cavity preparation. So this would work, but if it was any smaller, we would need to use the small, non-adjustable end of the principal instrument, which easily adapts to small cavity preparations. My preference is to always use the adjustable end of the instrument if I can, because I can really control the buccal lingual dimension with the two hands. But for smaller preparations, you're going to need to use the small end of the instrument. Now let's take a look at a very small cavity preparation. In this case, where we can't even get the small end of the push-pull instrument into the prep, that's when we use the convex end of the BioClear paddle. Now, it's pretty rare that we have a cavity prep that small, but that is the appropriate instrument for very small preps like this, or if we're doing a diaphragm closure in the posterior. Let's take another look at the adjustable end of the push-pull instrument when we're using the orange evolve molar matrix. The orange evolve matrix is for large, wide molars, which is very common in the maxillary arch especially between the maxillary first and second molars. Let's move the slider button up to about seven and a quarter and see how that works. The orange evolved matrix is much broader and flatter than the blue evolved matrix. And this is for broad contacts and broad teeth just like this one. That is a beautiful wide contact and perfectly appropriate for a wide tooth. In general, the wider the contact, the better the contact. I hope you enjoy the adjustable push-pull instrument by BioClear. I have found this to be an incredibly powerful tool in my practice.